What is up today? I'm going to show you how to make the levity bass. It's going to sound a little something like this. First thing you'll do is make a new MIDI track in Ableton. I recommend for workflow purposes that you set a default MIDI track. If you right click the MIDI track and you go save as default MIDI track, you can have it. So every time you make a new MIDI track, it already has serum on it. Once we have that new MIDI track, we're going to make a new MIDI region. And this MIDI region, we're just going to do our trusty old E0 and hit that legato button so that it stretches all the way across our two bar region. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Serum. Next thing we'll do is we'll go here to our wavetable selector. We'll select analog and then basic shapes so that we are given a sine wave. And this sine wave is really going to be the foundation of the sound. Once we have the sine wave selected, we can press play to hear how it sounds. Literally just going to be bass. It's just going to sound like a subwoofer. All we need to do next is go over to our filter, select ring modulation, and then start playing with our cutoff. As you can hear, it's already starting to take shape because the sound is actually super simple. We're going to take LFO one and go over here to the cutoff so that we get some movement going. That sounds pretty cool, but it's not exactly what we're going for. We're going to go down here and we're just going to adjust it until we're here in that sweet spot that we're going for. And this is where we get to go into LFO one and start getting tactical. So we'll go here, we'll hold shift and it'll allow us to make adjustments that snap to the bars. And we can just start creating some patterns here. I would like to hear the sound a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is go in here. I'm going to add some compression, enable this multiband and adjust the gain. Just makes things a little bit more present and easy to hear. It brings out the details. What we're going to do is actually slow down this LFO rate. Lower the grid size on Serum because we don't need that much movement. Lower it to maybe four. As we can see, it's starting to take shape a little bit more. It's going in the right direction, but it's we want to slow it down. Bring that grid size back up to eight. That is sounding how we want it to. With that descending pitch. And then once we have that pitch dialed in, then we can start messing with the level. So we'll take LFO2, we'll map it to the level. We'll increase the range all the way to 100%. So we're basically there now. And then all we're going to need to do is add a sub here because it doesn't currently have a sub. So what we'll do is we will take LFO three. We'll map it over to the sub. We'll turn the sub on. Bring the sub down to zero. Take this range up to 100. And then we can mess with it till it gets dialed in. And if you'd like, you can take this rate and automate it in Ableton. So you can go in here, you can take that rate and just start messing with it. You can also take this and do some adjustments to what we did before to add some more craziness.
the range. Yeah, you can go absolutely bonkers from here. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you got value from this, please follow the account so you can stay up to date with all of our future tutorials. Thanks and have an amazing day.